Hi, this is A Woman's World 123. Today I'm going to be talking to you about food stockpiling. I know this is not very much of a food stockpile, but it is uh, currently what I have. I've only been collecting for about three weeks, so this is what I currently have, and I am a work in progress, so please bear with me. I will uh, redo these videos once my, my stockpiling um, of the food actually grows a little bit. But we're going to start over here. What I have in my food stockpile is some emergency drinking water in 4.2 ounce packs. It's about 20 of these in the Ziploc bag. This water is readily available for you to drink at any moment. You don't have to purify it or do anything substantial to it to, for, for you to drink it, but open the pack and start drinking. Behind that is a, a 6.5 gallon jug for collecting rain, stream, river water, or in, collecting water from any water source. And then you would purify it with the iodine tablets or this Clorox bleach. If you've watched my bug out videos, you know that I do have an actual filter water bottle that filters uh, your water down to a .01 micron. So that's that. In this green bin, I have some food that has a two year shelf life and up to a 10 year shelf life. Some of the two year shelf life food is um, the canned foods, the pickles, chicken, the um, Vienna sausages, and things of that nature. Um, I do have some Mountain House and some MREs. They last for about 10 years depending on the conditions and the temperature that you keep them in. Over here in the red bin I have tea. I love tea so either some chilled tea or um, hot tea is really good any time of day. I have minute rice and then I have cup of noodles. Um, I have some of this uh, rice that takes about 30 minutes to, to boil and, and prepare. Then I have instant potatoes, Jiffy cornbread, rotini noodles, oatmeal, and au gratin potatoes. But this is what I currently have. It's not a whole bunch, but it will sustain me along with all the food that I have in my kitchen cabinets and my bug out bags. I just wanted to have a little bit of something that I could snatch up at any given moment and throw in the back of my truck and just bug out if I had to, if I could not bug in. But anyway, it's better to have some things and not need them than to need the things and not have them. So I do advise everyone to start stockpiling food and ammo and guns and do whatever you can to prepare yourself for what may be to come. Once again, this is A Woman's World 123. Thank you for viewing and have a good day. Thank you.